Hey all, today I'll be talking about something interesting, which is a question that I actually got on one of my videos. It was, what is the easiest way to make a shopping cart with approximately 100 items which could be changed on a weekly basis? I asked him, manually changed? He mentioned, yes, different products with different prices like a supermarket. So I mentioned I'll create a video on that tomorrow. So today is tomorrow. This was yesterday. Um, and let's just go ahead and actually create a video for that. Now, obviously, if you want to manually change any content, you can just have all of those hundred items in Figma and then you can go ahead and manually change them one by one. But what I think he means is we have a list of items, maybe let's say uh, top hundred items in the inventory or something that keeps on changing and the user wants to actually see that data being consistently updated as the sheet link or maybe the excel file or where, wherever that data is particularly stored keeps on changing so i'm going to show how to do that if that data was placed in a in a google docs file and obviously if it's if it's in an excel file then you can obviously import the data into a google docs to do the same thing so before we actually do it i have in front of me some items so here are some items like the best sellers in computers and accessories so i'm just going to go ahead and actually use some of these items i'm actually going to create a car a component for this in front of you so here i have a component let me just change this to a slightly darker color like a gray so we can actually see the component let's just give it a shadow to make it look fancy and again with shadows never make them too dark if you make them really dark, again, it's going to be really hard for people uh, to actually like them, I'm, I'm assuming, because it's going to be too prominent. So now I think it's a bit light, and I can even make it more lighter, maybe something like this. I think this should be fine. Okay, so now we what, what do we have on this particular product? We have a badge at the top. I'm not sure if we need the badge. We can just do the same thing with the image, and we can have the name, we can have the stars, and then we can have maybe a download button, maybe. Okay, so here we have a rectangle, which is gonna be our image. Then we are gonna have a, sorry, let me just actually change that to layers, the side panel. Then we were gonna have the product name. I'm gonna place the product name here. I'm gonna give it a fill container, but in order for me to actually give it a fill container, I have to, so let's just make it first of all semi-bold and in order for me to make it a fill container, I have to make this whole thing an auto layout. So let's just make it an auto layout with 16 pixel padding all around. And then the product name can be fill container because obviously some of these product names are really large. And since they're large, I'm just gonna make this name a bit smaller. Then we have a download button. Let's just add a download button here, auto layout, fill, and then let's just give it a color, probably the same color as the Amazon logo maybe. Um, let's just center it and give it a border radius, give the text color white or make the text color white and reduce the font size. Okay, so we have this uh, product name we have, now we need to place the star. So I'm gonna place the stars in an auto layout. I'm gonna change this to font awesome. Again, you don't really have to be too much concerned about the layout of this card because that doesn't really matter. What I'm going to be teaching you is gonna be beyond that. So now that we have this, I'm just gonna change the color to the Amazon um, items and maybe slightly yellowish. And then we're gonna have whatever. Okay, so I think that's fine. Uh, let's just make this spacing or this padding zero. And then I think this is pretty much it. Let's just make it a hug content and we have the product name. Maybe the spacing in between these three items can be a bit less. So let's just change that to eight and maybe Actually, let, let me just change this to, and let me just close my WhatsApp. I have some messages coming in. Let me just change that to four. So I think this should be fine. So we have the product name and we have the image. Let me see if we have something else. We have the number of ratings as well. So let's just go ahead and actually add that as well, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna add this here, 904. So the, the, these are gonna be the number of ratings we have. And let's just change this back to enter, the font that we're using in this instance okay so i think this is pretty much what we wanted and let's let me just actually vertically center it and if i want i can actually do the text baseline alignment that's going to align it much better okay so this is a component that we have i'm going to make it into a component this is going to be our image so in order for me to actually link these to a google doc or anything along those lines i have to first of all give these specific names so i'm going to say hashtag image 
this is I'm gonna say is gonna be hashtag name and this is gonna be hashtag rating and I think that's pretty much it so this is our component this is gonna be our card component let me just actually move this card component out and just keep this here so the instance here so we have a few instances I'm just gonna make this an auto layout one two three four five and let's just go ahead and actually duplicate them below as well so here we have a bunch of cards we have 10 cards and obviously you can do the same thing with 100 cards as well so let's just see how you actually go about and do what I'm actually planning to do and let me just actually scale this a bit so we have these things aligning properly so now we need 10 items with images so on and so forth so this is the test file in the drive where I'm it's basically empty as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and now position these things so we need an image so I'm just gonna say this is gonna be our image column this is gonna be our uh, title and our rating so we need the title sorry I have named it name so let's just call it name and then we actually let me just move the image on the right so image is gonna be here name is gonna be here and the rating is gonna be here okay and now we can just go ahead and write things out so I'm just gonna copy things from here just copy this image copy image sorry not copy image copy image address so I'm gonna copy the image address the first image is gonna be this let's just go ahead and actually expand it as well first image so here are the items that we basically needed in this particular file um, and I just manually added them so there's not much to do here I'm gonna open share I'm gonna copy this link I'm gonna come to my Figma document I'm gonna press command P I'm gonna search sorry shift I I'm gonna search for a plugin named Google Google sheet sync I'm gonna run this particular plugin I'm gonna enter the name or enter the link of that particular sheet and it's gonna update the current page only and I just need to let's say I'm gonna first of all do a fetch it's gonna fetch all that data name rating image and I'm gonna say sync if I click on sync it's automatically gonna update all of those things with the data that I've entered so iPhone as you can see most of the stuff that I have here sorry most of the stuff that I have here has now been updated so if I have wanted to let's say change this rating so instead of let's say this column actually being uh, like this I wanted to format it differently I wanted to format it as a number so in a number like this so now that I've done that I can just go here I can go to my uh, the same plugin I can say fetch and sync and as you can see the numbers are now updated with the decimal point so anytime anything changes in this document I just have to open the plugin I have to again I'm gonna open the plugin again just so you know it the link is already going to be copied I can fetch it to just see the data or I can just say fetch and sync and it's gonna update or map these values to the values that actually are starting with the hash name the hashtag rating the hashtag image so on and so forth automatically and that's basically I think what this person wanted to do obviously if you want to do it with a Google uh, with in with an Excel sheet I think there's a paid plugin for that but why do that like usually we want to manage data online and again if it's changing constantly ideally placing your data in a Google sheet is going to be in a much better way of doing these things and then you can keep on updating them just like that so that's going to be pretty much it for this video do subscribe to hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next one take care bye